given let us discuss this example so in this example we have a set u which is defined in this way which is subset of r2 and we have to check whether that set is open or not let us try to understand the given set u so u is a collection of elements of r2 which will satisfy this condition x square minus y square less than or equal to 1 if you consider equal to 1 here x square minus y square is equal to 1 represents the equation of hyperbola as you can see here we have a hyperbola we have less than or equal to 1 that means region bounded by curves of hyperbola so this is shaded region that is nothing but set u we have a equality here also that means points lies on this boundary that means on curves which will be the member of u so what do you think it will be an open set or it is not an open set let us see if you take any point here suppose you take any point on a boundary and if you draw any ball around this point so definitely it will contain some points outside the set u getting so definitely it is not an open set but this thing we have to prove so when we have to prove it is not an open set we find a point and we we show that for that point if you draw any ball around it it will go outside the set this is a technique i will do the same thing here okay so see consider i am considering one point consider 1 comma 0 belongs to r2 one point i have considered first of all i will show that this is element of u so consider okay then let us find x square minus y square let us check this condition x is 1 1 square is 1 minus y 0 0 square is 0 so it is 1 so what we have got x square minus y square is equal to 1 so the condition is satisfied we want either less than 1 or equal to 1 we have got is equal to 1 no problem so it satisfies the condition so therefore we can declare 1 comma 0 is element of u so i will show you here 1 comma 0 which is element of u now we have to prove that if you draw any ball around this point definitely it will contain some points outside set u okay so we have to prove that it is true for any r let us take one r let r be any positive real number so r is any positive real number you can take a very small r doesn't matter here now we will prove that let me mention claim our claim is open ball with center 1 comma 0 radius r which is not subset of u that means if you draw open ball okay with center 1 comma 0 and radius r it is not a subset of u that means it contains some points outside u this thing we have to prove it contains some points outside u so let us find one point of this ball which is not in u okay we have to find one point you can see here okay in diagram you can easily see there are many points which are member of ball but which are not in u let us find those points see i will consider one point uh, consider i am considering a point uh, 1 plus r by 2 comma 0 belongs to r2 this point i have considered let us find that point first in a diagram okay 1 plus r by 2 r is a radius of this ball you know here is 1 1 plus r by 2 okay so half radius we are adding in 1 so the point will be here i hope it is visible to you 1 plus r by 2 comma 0 0 y coordinates are 0 that means point lies on x axis so this point also lies on x axis so this is one point we have got okay in diagram you can easily see that point lies in a ball but mathematically we have to prove yes really that point lies in a ball so the technique is i will prove that distance of this point from the center of ball is less than its radius then we can declare yes it is an element of ball let us find a distance consider i am finding a distance okay i am finding a distance of what this point 1 plus r by 2 comma 0 from where from where from the center of ball center is 1 comma 0 we will prove that the distance is less than radius let us find the distance they have mentioned it is a euclidean distance so you know the formula square root of x component minus x component 1 plus r by 2 minus 1 square y component minus y component 0 minus 0 square square root of let us see what will happen see here 1 and minus 1 will get cancelled to each other you will have r by 2 its square is r square by 4 0 minus 0 0 so finally what we get if you take square root r by 2 obviously r by 2 is less than 
R. Okay, R by 2 is less than R. See, there is no more space to write. Make a screenshot of it, then we will go further. So, our conclusion is distance of 1 plus R by 2 comma 0, as you can see this point, and 1 comma 0, this point, is distance is less than R. So, if there is any point whose distance from the center of circle is less than its radius, that means that point lies inside a circle, getting. So, therefore, what can we say? Therefore, this point 1 plus r by 2 comma 0 lies inside a circle, that means ball here, okay, with center 1 comma 0 and radius r. So, we got one point which is inside a ball. Now, we will prove that it is not a member of U. So, yes, now consider, so I am considering, okay. So, when we say it is a member of U, when it will satisfy the condition and when we say it is not a member of U, when it won't satisfy the condition. So, let us check the condition x square minus y square. What is x here? 1 plus r by 2 square, right? What is y here? 0 square. Let us go further, okay? So, yes, 1 square plus 2r, that means r plus, uh, yes, r, r square by 4 minus 0. So, it will be 1 plus r plus r square by 4. See, r is non-negative. We are adding some non-negative number in 1. So, obviously, it is, see, r will be greater than 0, positive real number. So, it is greater than 1. So, what we get, so therefore, our conclusion is, we started with x square minus y square. We have got it is greater than 1. Our condition of u is less than or equal to 1. What we are getting? Greater than 1. So, condition is not satisfied. So, therefore, what we declare? Therefore, we declare condition is not satisfied. Therefore, the point, which point is 1 plus r by 2 comma 0 is not a member of u. So, we got one point which is member of ball but which is not in u. So, therefore, what can we declare? Therefore, this open ball with center 1 comma 0 radius r is not a subset of u. It is not a subset of u. So, but see, this is true for every r greater than 0. Let me mention for all r greater than 0. So, the definition of open set is not satisfied here. So, therefore, we conclude. So, therefore, let me write. Therefore, u is not open in R2 with Euclidean metric. With Euclidean metric. Okay. So, in this way, we completed this example. Make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.